I am joined by Danny Holton. He's going to tell us a little bit more about these great classical concert series that's taking place in Desert Hot Springs, not only this year, but now you're planning for next year and it'll be back in person. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, this has been such a challenging year. You know, I'm a musician myself and it was so devastating not to be able to perform with other musicians and for a live audience. But uh, for years, I've been running this uh, concert series here in Desert Hot Springs and we really didn't want to just put things on hold. So we produced a series of five uh, video concerts that have been broadcast online. Uh, and you know, it was definitely better than nothing. At the same time, we are thrilled about being able to plan live in-person concerts uh, for next season. Yeah, that's terrific. Now, can folks still access the, the concerts that you have put together this year? Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, starting on Monday, May 17th, we're going to have what we're calling Encore Week. So every weeknight at 7 p.m., you'll be able to tune in uh, on our website and watch uh, the five concerts. So we've got Monday through Friday. Uh, we've got uh, guitar and flute on uh, Monday evening. Uh, on Tuesday, we've got a wonderful cellist playing a lot of 20th century and contemporary music. Uh, on Wednesday, a concert by yours truly that was recorded right here in my home studio last year. Um, We've got a flute and viola duo on Thursday. And then on Friday, one of my favorites, uh, a friend of mine in Desert Hot Springs local, Margaret Irwin Brandon, uh, kind of uses video to bring us into her home and show off her fantastic collection of uh, historical keyboard instruments. That's a really fun one. Wow. That's great. So all week, Encore Week. And then we're looking ahead to next season. Can you give us a little preview of what you're putting together? Yeah, obviously, with the pandemic, uh, everything in the performing arts world has just gone haywire and everything has been up in the air. But I'm, I'm very optimistic that we'll be able to resume live in-person concerts. I'm hoping that uh, toward the end of 2021, uh, we'll be able to do our fourth annual afternoon concert crawl, which is an event we've been doing for several years, where in one afternoon, you can shuttle between three different venues for three mini concerts. And we're going to plan to do that at outdoor uh, venues. So that seems like a pretty safe option. And then we're hoping to resume a, a normal series of concerts uh, between January and May of 2022. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But I, f I feel like we're getting there. Well, Danny, yeah, it we're seems like it. Seeing the encore presentations, and we look forward to, to the upcoming concerts as you plan and prepare for those. Thank you very much for being on Eye in the Desert. Thank you so much.